again. So today I have a very short video for you guys. I'm going to be doing my third book chat video, which is basically just a roundup of all of the books that I have read recently. I was trying to do these like four times a year, but it's been like six months since my last one. So it's time. I haven't read a lot over the past six months. I've actually only completed six books. But yeah, I just wanted to get this out of the way so that maybe I can get out two more videos of this kind in the next six months. Maybe. I just wanted to wrap up what I've read through January to June. Yeah, this is what I finished the past six months. First one that I finished, most of these I don't have with me. I don't own them. I take a lot of my books out from the library, which I think I've explained before. But the first book I read was the second book in The Giver trilogy. If you read The Giver, then good for you. That is a fantastic uh, YA dystopian novel. Much older than the sort of dystopian fad that sort of happened recently. But dystopian novels are awesome. It was a book by Lois Lowry. And I didn't realize until probably the last couple years that it was a part of a quadrology. Um, which means there are four books, not three or two or a whole series. There's four. There's The uh, Giver, The Gathering Blue, The Sun, and The Messenger. I might have messed up the order of the last two. I haven't read The Sun and The Messenger, but I did read Gathering Blue in probably January, and it was actually really good. I remember picking this book up before in the, few, in the past, and I didn't like it. I couldn't get into it. I didn't realize it was part of the Giver trilogy at the time, or Quadrology. Um, but yeah, I couldn't get into it, but this time I found it really interesting. It's set in a different city with different characters than The Giver, so I'm not really sure how everything comes together or if it comes together in the end, but I'm hoping that it does when I finally get there. But it was a really good way to look into another part of this dystopian world because it's kind of cool that a story would do that or that an author would do that. Because so frequently you get to look into one area, like 1984, you're looking at basically you, the US. Or in The Hunger Games, again, you're looking at a section of the US. And it's like, what's happening in the rest of the world? If we've gone this poorly, what else is happening? So this is kind of cool. I'm not sure how far apart these people's communities are, but I'm really hoping to find out in the future. The second book that I read is going to make up the majority of these books. So the second book I read was the first book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bones trilogy, which is called The Daughter of Smoke and Bones. There's not a cool name for the trilogy, it's just the name of the first book. And these are by Lainey Taylor, and these books are so good. I picked it up like completely at random, it just sounded kind of interesting. Um, it has like angels and monsters and stuff and it's weird and uh, it's, it's a really good book and you get into it and there's like alternate worlds and it's sort of fantasy but it's also kind of sci-fi fantasy if that makes any sense like there's magic but there's like there's dimensions and then yeah you really really should read the book it is a YA series trilogy um but it's really really different I had never really read anything like this series and the first book is amazing the second book is pretty good it's like you know second books and trilogies can be kind of wishy-washy but the third book makes this series like so many trilogies don't finish on a high note but I really feel like the ending for the third book pulls the series together and wraps it in this beautiful little bow and it's just such a good satisfying ending that I really really love the series and I really recommend it. I liked it so much that I rated the last book five stars and reviewed it on Goodreads. <laughs> so yeah if you want to see my little blip from Goodreads then you can go down below and you can follow me on Goodreads. I will leave my link like I always do in these videos. And so that was The Daughter of Smoke and Bone. I also read the second book and I really should have pulled up my Goodreads so I would know what everything is called. And the second book is called The Days of Blood and Starlight. And the third book is called Dreams of Gods and Monsters. And I realized I said that it was a trilogy, but actually four of the six books that I've read over the past six months have been from this trilogy because there was a novella set between books two and three, or I guess set sort of in the middle of book two. On Goodreads, they've numbered it number 2.5. So, and it's just a little novella. I bought it on my e-reader. It was 75 pages. It's called Night of Cake and Puppets. Um, 
And yeah, this is a really great sort of side story about some of the other characters that aren't the main protagonist. And it's really, really great to see just that extra little transaction. It's completely unnecessary to the story, but it is a really cool part of the story. And so it's fun to get a look at these other side characters. And then finally, this is going to be a very short video, but hopefully you don't mind or you like that. But finally, the last book that I read over the last six months was The Hobbit. I've read The Hobbit before, but I was reading it with my boyfriend because I wanted him. I want him to read The Lord of the Rings, and he has the box set with The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings. So basically, we're reading it together. We each have a book and we're like switching off pages and reading it back and forth like we're in like school or something but it's actually been really fun so yeah we reread the hobbit we're starting on book one of lord of the rings the fellowship of the ring but yeah i love the hobbit if you haven't read the hobbit and you're a fantasy fan i don't know what you're doing with your life um it's by J.R.R. tolkien it's the beginning it's it's the basis for the lord of the rings it was written before the lord of the rings and it's set in the same world. It's where you meet Bilbo Baggins. If you haven't seen the movies, again, I don't know what you're doing. The books are a lot more fun, or the book is a lot more fun and goofy and a little weird at times, a little bit fairy tale, because this one was written for children. Yeah, if you're a fantasy fan or a classic fan or a British fan or a fan of the movies, you should definitely read The Hobbit. I just think it's a really great book and it leads into The Lord of the Rings, which is my favorite book of all time. So yes, those were the six books that I read over the last six months. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below what books you've read recently, what you've liked, what you haven't liked, and if you've read any of the books that I read recently. Uh, so let me know that in the comments. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to see more videos from me. I'm also working on starting a book review like series for my blog that I'm pl planning to post most Saturdays. Um, so yeah, my blog link is always down below, but I will link it down below again. Um, and I'll give leave you the link to the book haul that I posted a couple Saturdays ago, probably when this video is going up. I don't remember what day it was, but I will leave the link to that haul down below. And yeah, let me know if you like book videos because I really like doing them. So with all that said, I will leave you now and I hope you have a really great day and I will see you in my next video. Bye.